again, this is Teacher Reda Lope, your math master. We're done with the first part. Now we are in the second part of our tutorial in plotting polar coordinates. In the first part of the tutorial, we have dealt with plotting of coordinates where radius and the polar angle are both positive. Now, what if the radius and the polar angle is negative? So stay tuned and that is where we are going to find it out. Okay, we have the uh, point P. So we have the given coordinates, uh, R is equal to negative 6 and the polar angle is equal to 300 degree. So indicating the given again, so we have R is equal to negative 6 and theta is the polar angle is equal to 300 degree. So we have here the uh, normal and the polar axis. Now since theta is 300 degree and happens to be uh, positive and that is greater than zero, we will measure the 300 degree in a counterclockwise direction from the positive polar axis. Okay, so we have this as the uh, 300 degree and we draw a line here. Now, if we observe R is negative 6. Since R is negative 6 and that is greater uh, less than 0, we will measure the radius negative 6 along the prolongation of the terminal side through the pole. Meaning to say, uh, we will have an extension here. Okay, meaning to say we will measure the radius vector opposite of this terminal side or this line. Okay. So, since R is equal to negative 6, so we will lay off on this line 6 units distance. So, we have the first unit, the second unit, the third unit, the fourth unit, the fifth unit, and the last unit. And it happens to be R is equal to 6. There is no need to indicate the negative sign here. Okay, so we have here the uh, point P happens to be... Uh, a negative 6 and 300 degree. Okay, uh, we have the last point to be plotted. So we have the uh, point 4. R is equal to 4 and the polar angle theta is negative 120. Indicating the given here. So R equal to 4 and theta is equal to negative 120. Again, draw the normal in the polar axis. Okay. Since uh, theta is equal to negative 120 and that is uh, less than zero, we will measure the negative 120 in a clockwise direction from the positive polar axis. Okay, so this is it. So that is 120. And R is equal to 4. And that is, uh, that is uh, positive. That is greater than zero. We will measure the radius vector 4 along the terminal side of that angle. So we will draw a line here. Okay, from the pole and then on this line we will measure uh, we will lay off four units distance starting from the pole so we have the first uh, unit here and we have the second unit and the third unit and we have the last unit so that is simply uh, that is the value of R happens to be 4 and so this is the given point P happens to be uh, the coordinates of 4 and negative 120 Okay, that's all about for the second part. Now, if you learned something in this tutorial video, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you have questions related to this topic, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do consider subscribe and click the notification bell so you may have some update of my upcoming video tutorial. By the way, if you, have, if you want a soft copy of this tutorial video, just subscribe to my channel and comment and send requests for a copy. Again, this is Reda Lope. Thanks for watching. May the Lord God bless us all.